So you could have a lot of blueprints that were using this function and we just broke all of them. So how do you go about effectively not breaking all your blueprints, but refactoring the name of a function? And the way to do that is with redirectors. You can also change the name of a function, but only in the editor using a display name. So let's say we have the function named native only function name, and we'll make that blueprint callable. And in the meta, we'll say display name custom function name here. So that is what you'll see in blueprint, but in code, we'll see this native only function name. So let's compile and see that in action. So custom name here. So we were able to change the display name of the function without creating an issue. The nice thing about the display name is that well, you can have a lot of blueprints that are using this function and you can go to code. So let's save it and we can go to code and change that display name and set the editor shutdown. So we've saved the blueprint with the old name, we save the new display name and launch the editor. And so now when we open up the blueprint, the name was updated and we didn't create any compilers or anything. If we had changed the actual name of the function, we would have actually had a compiler here and we would have to recall the function. If you do need to change the function name, you can use redirectors to do that. So let's say we have an old name. So we've created this function, old name, and we want to change the native name. So if I go to begin play and let's hook up this other function too, and then we'll hook up the old name. So we'll compile that. And now let's do two types of changes. Let's close out the editor and I'm going to copy this name because I'll need it later, but I'm going to change it to a new name. So it changed it in the CPP file and the header file. And just to show the difference, we'll also add a two here. So this name has changed also. So we've changed the display name for one of them, and we've changed the actual code name for the other one. Let's compile that and see what happens to the blueprint. Okay, notice that the display name changed and we, we still have no compiler error, but our other one still says my function old name and has a compiler error. So you could have a lot of blueprints that were using this function and we just broke all of them. So how do you go about effectively not breaking all your blueprints, but refactoring the name of a function? And the way to do that is with redirectors. So if we close this out and we go to our default engine INI, we can add a redirector under this core redirects section. So I have one here that I'll copy and paste from. So we add a function redirects and then we'll give it the old class name. So in this case, we have a parent pawn basic view function. So we will go to the default engine AI and I'll paste it there. Now notice that we actually should remove the prefix that Unreal wants us to have. So let's get rid of that A. And now this is the name as it appears in the editor. And what we need is the old function name. So if I paste the old one, it was my function old name. And what we want that to be now is my function new name. So there we have set up a function redirector. Now we didn't resave that blueprint or anything. The blueprint still has the old function name saved in it. And if we run the editor now that we've added this redirector to an INI file, the default engine INI file, the blueprint compiler should resolve itself. It should be able to look up like, oh, the old name now maps to new name and it'll change it over to that to be that function. The thing to remember though is you need to save your blueprints after you do this. Otherwise, if you end up deleting that line, they will revert back to being broken. So if we go into here, now you can see it has converted over to my function new name and there is no compiler. And so that's how you refactor function names. Note that there are other redirectors that you can use for things like packages, structures, functions, enums, classes, there's all sorts of redirectors here. And that's under the core redirects documentation on the Unreal Engine. We will continue looking more U functions and further videos.